Hey guys, welcome back. It's episode 29, I think. And, uh, I've got a friend. <laughs> he was over in the, um, in the other side of the, um, over by the spawners. <clears throat> he spawned on this side of the wall this time, which is weird, because normally they don't. Um, so, whatever chunk I'm in, um, he must have spawned in, or like, there's, there's more, I wonder if they're in here. He must have spawned, like, the way the spawning works, it picks a spot that you can spawn in, which may have been, like, here, and then it spawns things around that spot, so it may have just picked there, and, like, somewhere right on the other side of this wall, and then spawned him over here, and, uh, yeah, so he was just hopping around, and then I, um... Like, he was just hopping around over here, and then I went to get in the cart, and I accidentally pushed it, and then he got in it like that. So, uh, yep. Yeah. And I chased him all the way down to the other side, <laughs> and then he came back. So, yeah. No! No! Why would you kill yourself? Stupid slime! They make terrible friends, they just kill themselves all over the place. I'll cremate him. There's more slimes down around this corner, but I don't feel like doing that. Um, I did get another efficiency four on breaking three pick, if I didn't say that already. And um, I intend to make great use of this. I might make a slime trap. I still haven't decided. Um, there, I seem to have lit up a lot of areas because, <clears throat> because the slimes are spawning a lot. Like, every time I come down here, there's a slime. Um, which means that there's a lot of space somewhere that, um, there's a lot of, there's not a lot of caves that are, um, unlit, because, um, if there were, then they wouldn't spawn so much, because slimes only have a 10% chance of spawning, it'll spawn everything else first, usually, so usually you get most everything else and then, like, one slime. But I've got a couple slimes every time I go down there, so... This is my strip mine. I just go this way, and then branch off that way and that way, and then again and again. I go 20 blocks in each direction. This is the mine that I got, um... all, like, 50 diamonds from. There was actually a, um... an abandoned mine. Sorry for saying um so much. But there was an abandoned mine shaft way down there. Um... Um, um, um. And, uh... Oh, uh, isn't any better. Yeah. So, that had a bunch of diamonds in it, too. I actually managed to find diamonds. Like, okay. Abandoned mine is three blocks... Oh, that was a bad place for it. It's three blocks tall and three blocks wide, right? So, say this is the, the dimensions of the abandoned mine. I found a thing of diamonds down here, or, like, maybe over here, and then another vein of diamonds up here directly across from the other one. And I was just, like, I was, oh, diamonds! And I came over here, and I looked down, and I was, you know, okay, yeah, that's cool, and I mined it out. And I was like, huh, I wonder if there's a, oh my god! And I just went and mined the rest of them up here, and it was fantastic. So, yeah. That was pretty cool. Um, so, I'm gonna, I, I made one minor, but quite prevalent change to the outside. So, I may have gotten a little carried away, but um, I planted some grass and flowers and stuff, because I originally just wanted to put some over here and over here, and I was like, that looks so nice though, just having all the grass and everything. So, then I went along here, and I was just going to have it like behind this this pathway here, but then I was like, well, you know, there's there's a big space over here, and then if I put it over here, I mean, there's just this big empty field that just happens to have grass growing right up until here, so I was, eh. so I said, why not? And I figured I'd come out and do this area, and then I looked over there, and I was like, well, we've got all of this grass down here and nothing up there, so I went up there, and then I went, well, we should probably put some grass over here as well, and up there, and on there, and, <laughs> and yeah. So, I think it looks really cool, mostly because I always picture my house, like, when I'm, I, what I built this house, 
sorry that came out so weird. I built this house with the idea in mind that I, I understand this is a single player world and nobody will ever come and see it, but I just picture somebody coming along and being like, oh, you know, I'm just exploring, no big deal, and then like, ooh, what's that? And, oh, let's go check it out. It looks pretty cool. And coming up and being like, wow, that's that's cool. And this this would be shut though, because you know. Obviously, for whatever reason, I haven't been here for hundreds of years, so whoever's coming along is just like, ooh, ancient ruins, and um, there's a coal up there, just one, and it the nice So they'd come over and they'd be like, oh, and obviously I couldn't see the button because it's hidden, and it's invisible, so you don't see it. Uh, and they'd be like, oh, let's go over this pathway, and walk down here, see a door up there, see a door over here, oh, wheat farm in there, that's cool, yeah. Um... And one of the reasons that I really like this area is because it looks like it's separate buildings, which, I mean, it kind of is. You know, I've got one building here and then one building there, and um, I really like it. And I, I had some problems with the circuitry again, because for some reason, when I opened this door, this piston would... It would be fine when it was closing, but when it was opening, it would lag behind, so all of the other ones would close first, or would, would pull back first, and then this one would. Uh, not too much of a delay, but it was enough to bother me. So I had to go in and mess with the s timing and everything. Like, took me another half hour, I'm sure, to get in there. But um, it was it's it works now. So <laughs> I need to be careful not to touch that lever unless I want to destroy all of my wheat. Because <clears throat> before, when I was messing with it, I accidentally flooded the chamber when I was messing with the redstone, and a bunch of wheat fell. But I forgot to pick it up because I was too um, enthralled with what I was doing. Uh, let's see, next thing I want to do is go down and get that minecart track that I've got and make it look nice. Because right now, it's just a smattering of different um, materials between cobblestone, stone, gravel, dirt, and I hate it. So, um, <clears throat> I made all of this so that I can make more brick. I think I'm going to make it brick. I haven't decided yet. I realized, like, yesterday that, that... Oh, I didn't mean to hit you, cow. Sorry. That this stone up here was still just regular stone. And I was amazed at how I didn't notice that. Um, actually, I want to go up there and look out at night. Into the nice field that I've got going. Uh, I think it looks really pretty. And I love it. Because we've got all of the... The grass and the flowers, and... I like it. It's a little harder to fight out there without destroying all the grass, but... I use like two stacks of um, bone meal to do that, but that's okay because I have like seven stacks of bones, which is like 21 stacks of bone meal. So, now see, we ride down here, and it's like we've got stone, cobblestone, uh, dirt, more cobblestone, stone, dirt, coal. Um, cobblestone, stone, dirt, stone, cobblestone. Um,. I don't know if I want to replace this entire thing with all stone stuff. I like it with all, like, gray brick. Um, I like it being cobblestone. It looks, pr I think it looks pretty neat. I do need to get in some glow, some more glowstone down here because, obviously, I don't like that I have to, um, actually, that's not too dark without that torch. I don't like having to have all the torches everywhere. So. Oh yeah, okay, if I if I were to put that there, it would be right in the middle, so I don't think I'll do that. I'll just leave that torch up there, or I might replace something on the wall with glowstone, but... Oh, I suppose I've got pretty much that entire area down there covered with the glowstone. Um, and this area should be fine without spawning stuff. And this wall is an even number, so if I wanted to... There's slimes above me, so their uh, slime is dropping down onto me. They just spawn everywhere now. Yeah, I guess I must have a lot of the nearby... There's more. Um, I must have a lot of the nearby areas lit up. Because there's slime spawning all over the place, actually. So, Because slimes can spawn in light. And most things can't. So, um... When I go and light up caves... It stops them from spawning, which means the only thing that spawns is slimes. So you end up with large amounts of slimes just because nothing else is spawning. Um, <clears throat> Cause the yeah the the spawning algorithm will try to spawn 
things, but if it can't, it just stops and goes again. And then if it can't again, it stops and goes again. And I believe there's a limit to how many mobs it can spawn. I'm not sure what that is. Um, obviously the spawners work differently. They can spawn as many as you want as long as they're a certain distance from the spawner. But, yeah. Okay, so I just talked for most of this episode. Um, and traveled around a bit. See my legs didn't get... That actually fixes if you take off your boots and put them back on. But then when you get out of it... Um, your your legs are like that. You take off your boots and fix it. I don't know. It's a bug. They'll probably fix it eventually. Okay, so I gotta go. But uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.